What are abstracts of research journal articles? They're 100 to 200 word summaries of articles that have been published in an academic research journal. Abstracts provide information about articles in order to help readers to decide whether or not they actually want to read an article or not. So, who are you writing your abstract for? In other words, who are your readers? They're busy academics who have limited time to read a vast number of articles in their field. This leads them to carefully select what they're going to read. Consciously or unconsciously, they evaluate articles on questions like this. Will this article actually help me to, to say something significant and important about the research that I'm working on? Who are you? You are a researcher who has discovered something significant and new about a research topic that your research community considers to be important. What is an effective abstract? That is, an abstract that will attract prospective readers. Such an abstract provides four kinds of information. The first kind is a research topic. This identifies what your article is about and frames the topic as something that your research community thinks is important because it affects the quality of people's lives in very specific ways. The second type of information is a research gap. This is something that identifies the topic that your research community uh, understands poorly and it frames the research gap as a lack of understanding that's significant because it's blocking your research community's ability to increase the knowledge, its knowledge of the topic. The third thing is a research question. And this identifies a question of analysis. That is, a question that starts with the word how or why. And it narrows the research gap to a specific aspect that must be analyzed before the gap can be eliminated or at least reduced. And fourthly, your research answer. This identifies a response to the research question based on research findings that will change your community's understanding of the topic. And with this information, you have done three things. You have out clearly outlined your paper, you have brought readers to the core of your paper, and you have suggested the paper's potential for reducing ignorance.